Well, hello there. Welcome to today's video. Um, I am your host, High Priest Maisha, and I'm hoping that you can hear me loud and clear. If not, please turn up your volume on your computer, cell phone, tablet, TV, whatever device you're watching me on, and welcome to today's reading. Here, I am... I don't know why I'm doing it in that voice, sorry. <laughs> okay, but I'm here to give you a reading on your past life to see which type of god or goddesses you were and what was your sole purpose and mission and if you like today's reading please give me some cash app my cash app is underneath the video and whatever blessings you send it will come right back to you three times three and i appreciate all of you all the newcomers and yes, I'm a little bit shy, but I'm getting into my gifts and understanding who and what I am and what this mission is about. And I'm here to help the 20% who are going through the exact same transition at the exact same time. So, if this resonates, please give a like, please comment below. And if you want to share your past life experience, go ahead, because some of y'all are Earth Angels. Alright. So here's how I do my reading. I have a behind the scenes of how I study, but there will be more behind the scenes of how I actually read so that I can teach you, so that you can become the teacher and the healer as well. Um, I shuffle these off camera because shuffling takes a long time. You will see here in the corner of this video. Um, but yeah, pick which stone resonate with you because it might say a lot about you. Uh, this is a heart stone, crested moon, and my little kitty that I found randomly out of nowhere. But yeah, let's get into today's video. Welcome back, reader. Well, I have a message for you. I believe that you were somebody who always felt like an outcast, always felt different, always got bullied. I'm one of them too. I, I got bullied myself. And you're not meant to fit in the crowd. You're meant to stand out. And you might not see the bigger picture, but you will later. And I feel like you might have visions of your past lives from people who felt familiar to you in this life. And they just, it's something about them, like, they feel so familiar for you. Like, you always get deja vu a lot. Like, haven't I done this before? I bet you've been saying that a lot lately because i myself been saying that a lot so i know i do have notes to help me deliver this message um any newbies terror reader always have notes on the side to help you deliver message it is okay and yes i know some of y'all are getting ready to get your gifts activated and this is what i'm here for to help guide you on your journey and I'm gonna give out some shout outs towards the end of the video to some YouTubers who I think you should watch on your spiritual journey because they're actually legit. They, they just don't clout you, you know what I mean? They actually give you real facts and I feel like some of you gods and goddesses was being used for personal gain not getting credit where it's due and yeah and I'm here to expose certain people and expose your enlightenment so you can get back to you some of y'all had family members who I want to say just mistreated you abuse you even though you're the one who's being the golden child but they're it's the opposite. 
you're getting shitted on. At least to say. And I'm sorry. And it's like the ones who don't have no invention no what's it what's the word? Ambition? Yeah. Sorry. I have a speech problem. No ambitions. No morals in life. They're the ones getting more praise. But here, you're sitting here working on your craftsmen. Your craft. Your creation. Trying to get things in motion. You had people not believing in you. Believing who you are. You told so many people that you were something different. You always helped something different. And what you see in your mind is true. Best believe it. I'm clairvoyant. And if you need help understanding what you're seeing, vision of past life, present, or future, I'm here to help you. Feel free to email me. My email is underneath the video. And I hope that during this journey, you come to find out the truth of who you are and what you are. Again, I shuffled these out before I recorded, but I have a recorder of me shuffling because my shuffling sucks. Alright. So let's see what past life you might have had. What type of god or goddesses you are. If you want a one-on-one -on -one reading, feel free to email me. I don't mind. Uh, one-on-one -on -one readings are eight dollars if you want me to break a curse it's ten dollars or a spell even that felt like you've been placed on because i can feel that energy everywhere so yes let's get started uh, let me put this here i guess all right Let's see what type of god or goddesses you are. Alright, I'm just gonna randomly go like this. Alright. Again, I will have a more in depth of how I read as a tarot reader. So that you can understand that every tarot reader is different. Here's your life number, life path. I look away, which is like kind of like whatever guide guide me. Then I try to cover up the words. have Osiris, um, Timothus, god of protection of death, and Osiris, the god of death, rebirth, ruler of the underworld, and we also have Mors. Mors is a feminine deity who is also a goddess of the underworld. You could have been born March 1st through the 10th, November 27th through December. You could have been the Aries. You could have been a Pisces. Let's see what is your life path, life number. This number 11. Bit of brilliance. I shine. Master yourself. Find personal enlightenment. That is what you're here for, is to find personal enlightenment. That's also a light bringer that kind of resonates with death. Alright. 
So you past life. I get young male identity. Ooh. Brainwashing. Use brainwash. There's a web here. He was caught up in a web. Also, web associates with the goddess. If you look up the goddess who associated with webs and spider, she's been trying to contact you. You a social. Particle. Religious even. Alright, what is this one? Ooh. Three. A pentacles. I see somebody tried to take something from you. Take an idea even. And escape. I see you try to escape from something. I see that you was very childish, loyal at the same time, had electric. So number three, three pentacles. Those who walk a life path with number three have unlimited creativity and almost superhuman abilities. Three reminds us that we are born of both human and divine to spark. It's energy, that of life, bringer of change. There's someone here to bring change you could be a daughter, female, and you have stability, stability of light, to bring light, to master yourself, to bring an end to things. That's what death does, doesn't it? But also you hear the rebirth and to recreate. Maybe you're someone who has a sword, torch, a poppy, or butterfly tattoo, even. Maybe you're obsessed with death, or you had an obsession with death. What was your soul mission? Food and hunger. Maybe you were someone who was also a giver. Who, who would steal from the rich to give to the poor? Who would never let somebody go out of hunger, out of food? Or you was someone always thirsty for knowledge, or hungry for knowledge? What was... What wisdom did you get from this life? Dreamwalker, dream the collective good, illusions. You was somebody who was always seeing the truth, seeing the beauty of things, knowing what was right in front of you. You, I feel like you were somebody who was always daydreaming. And I see a number eight here, and I see a number three here. You could have been born three eights, eight three. Always dreaming of what to do next, or what other worlds is out there. If you're a dreamer, you're a traveler. Someone who likes to travel a lot. 
travel different realms, exploring different realms, getting caught up into things that you shouldn't have, escaping. What does your spirit team want to tell you? Balance. Maybe you're somebody who's just coming into your gift, into your power, and you're trying to balance out what you know and what you don't know. You're someone who likes to go in the ends of odds of things. You like to see what other people don't see. So you're trying to balance what is the truth and what is fiction. Maybe you try to balance friendship, family, family, yeah, family, or co-workers even. Could have been a Libra. Someone who deals with balance and justice and order. To bring in life and to bring in death. And to bring in rebirth. What type of lover were you? Six of Wands. I see you as like a ladies man, or I see that as a goddess. You just love the idea of people loving you, admiring you. Bird, you as a free spirit, a dove. Bunny, you is intelligent, and giving, and caring. I see no selfishness. You just love the idea of love. You was in love with someone. Let's see what else. What would your soul like to say to you? Don't be afraid. Of losing somebody who doesn't want you. Mm. Okay. So you might have a lover who didn't see you for you, who only saw the idea of what they thought of you and could want it more from you. They was giving you like the half glass, half full type situation. And it seems like you was kind of depressed all the time. Couldn't figure out why a certain relationship wasn't going exactly the way it should have been. Because you was too focused on your mission, like other things instead of just focusing on love and having somebody to love you for who you are, for what you bring, which is light to shine. Maybe some of you was born 8 11 or 11 8 or 11 3 3 11. or 3 6. Or eleven six, or six eleven. Maybe you have an obsession with death. Always getting caught up into things, trying to escape from darkness, even from self. I see a lot of darkness, but you need to balance out what you know of yourself because what you see of yourself is true. Alright, let's see what other message we can get through.
What does your past have to say about your present you? What does your past have to say about your present you? I see he was also bold. He was bold to do a lot of stuff that nobody else was not willing to do, not willing to go into. He was an explorer. He liked to shine a light on different subjects that nobody wasn't talking about, that nobody, nobody ever thought about. He was an original thinker. got eight strength you don't know your own strength until it's tested power reaper change could be a fire could be a leo maybe your leo is getting activated Maybe you're someone who didn't have that much confidence in your strength. Didn't believe how powerful you could be when it comes to death, rebirth, and being a ruler of the underworld. Maybe your past you is looking at the present you for the strength and courage you have today that they wish they had. See? Eight. Eight. Eight came up twice. Eight plus eight. Sixteen. One plus six. Gives you seven. You're on the frequency of seven, eight, six, eleven, three. You're mastering yourself. You're mastering each of these numbers one by one. You're mastering love, light, and abundance. You no longer serve in the three D realm. You don't think inside you think outside you try to go without and what's within you try to go with the ins and outs but you get caught up sometimes this again this could be a goddess or or a god osiris look up who associate with osiris and goddess form There's so many of them, you just have to do research and take it from there. What else? What else, Spirit? Selfishness, compassion, believe in yourself, have courage to continue. Yes, your present you is experiencing more courage, wanting more courage from you, wanting to believe in yourself more. You might get hurt. The past might hurt you. Could be a Sagittarius. 
past might hurt you. Somebody in the past might have hurt you so bad. Could have been a Sagittarius. Somebody, somebody in the present could have hurt you in this lifetime and could be a Sagittarius. Somebody in the past could have been a Leo and could have took away your strength and your courage. But you're learning to rise up and rise out of it to be more confident in your courage, to have more faith, to have a leaf of faith, a spark of faith. And you might have a fire element. You could have been a father. You're planting something, you know? You have a divine spark. Your archangel could be Raphael in this lifetime. Get connected. Ten of Wands. There is always another way to do something. Completeness, success, and inventory, returning. Again, I'm getting fired. Sagittarius. Somebody really try to take your gift, your idea of who and what you are. But you're rebirthing, you're renewing. You're returning to source, you're returning to who you are. Again, somebody could be born 10, 9, 9, 10, 8, 9, 9, 8. Your Osiris, Timothus, Morris, the goddess of the underworld, the goddess of underworld. You've been through hell and back. You battle with self. You found strength. You found courage. You're returning. Maybe you're lying to yourself. Maybe you're being too careless of yourself. Stop lying to yourself. You know who you are. And you know what you know. Stick by to it. Stick to the vision. Seek it out. And bring the odds and end into a light. You're mastering yourself. Rebirth yourself. This also reminded me kind of like of a, a phoenix almost. Being rebirthed out of the ashes into new. Or a falcon even. Or an eagle. Eagle. Some of y'all might have an obsession with that. Bought a bunch of swords, maybe had swords as a tattoo. Torches. Was obsessed with the puppy flower, maybe even red even. Butterfly. Have a butterfly tattoo. I don't know. Could possibly. I see that your war is very dark. Purple, even. I bet a lot of people kept telling you they can see it like it's a purplish, dark blue, red even around you. But somehow they found warmth around you, they feel comfortable in your presence. They're not scared of you because they know you shine. So 
I hope this helps you to understand who and what you are and there's more to come and if you want a one-on-one -on -one with me my email is underneath the video I do have a hotline um, it's in my community tab so our community page so yeah feel free to message me to talk about your past life also follow me subscribe well not follow subscribe I follow you because I'm here to help you send donations don't mind a reading costs only eight dollars to break a curse or a spell is ten dollars because first we gotta figure out why there's a curse on you who put you to sleep some of y'all been in and out of sleep as gods and goddesses and they use you for your own personal gain and not giving you credit but the shout outs will be underneath the videos or in the comments so you can go follow these people on your journey onto your awakening enlightenment because they help me out during tough times and they actually see you for you until next time and i hope you can hear me if not just turn up your value